Assalamu alaikum everyone, myself Dr. Ayaz and today from PNMDP section at Anglands I will give you the overview of uh, history taking questions um, for autism and uh, ADHD. So before asking the history I will recommend that you should have a theme um, like what questions uh, you will ask uh, under what category so first of all you should know um, who raised the concern and uh, where the child is referred from and uh, what are the current issues and uh, concerns from the parents so there should be um, initial uh, section of uh, main concerns from the parents and uh, referred from and then you will divide into different headings uh, uh, what are uh, issues in school or nursery and uh, next heading should be uh, the developmental history of gross and fine motor skills and then speech language and communication skills and then behavior and uh, play history and then social history and then uh, history uh, regarding uh, toileting and then nutrition history sleep history and uh, after that uh, the uh, history birth history vaccination history family history social history and past medical or surgical history so uh, in um, uh, regarding behavior or play uh, what questions you should ask from the parents and I think many candidates face difficulties like what should we ask to uh, make a, a certain diagnosis so in behavior and play section you can ask about uh, uh, history regarding any isolated play can he uh, take turns what about sharing can he show empathy or uh, affection there is any fixations or obsessions uh, like uh, uh, spider-man or avengers uh, and then any repetitive behavior like uh, pulling the ears biting others and then uh, what about uh, imaginative play or uh, making up his own scene or his own ideas and uh, then you can ask about uh, uh, his uh, eye contact his uh, attention his uh, uh, other behavior problems like any agitation any anxiety to particular environment and uh, then you can ask about awareness of uh, danger or strangers and then you can ask about expression gestures and uh, restricted to change example uh, diet routine or environment and uh, then you can ask about regression in the language also ask about uh, attention or uh, uh, history of pointing to the things or uh, like he or she uh, give uh, any joint attention or not also ask about any hypersensitivity with any food or anything or any uh, noises or color so these are the behavior and play questions and uh, uh, social interaction uh, that uh, you should ask from the parents to get some clue and other important uh, points uh, in the history you should ask uh, in children with behavior problems are uh, their uh, uh, toileting and uh, nutrition history very important and sleep as well because many of them have sleep problems uh, also ask about detailed history of uh, uh, mm, uh, um, uh, in school or nursery like how they behave how they are with other kids 
so there are uh, uh, it's just worth mentioning here as well so there are different assessment scales uh, for ADH, ADHD um, uh, so we ask uh, uh, history from the parents and these forms can be given to teacher as well and then you can do the assessment so so sometime examiner can ask uh, like what criteria you will use so you can say like you can use dsm uh, five criteria or or connor's comprehensive uh, behavior rating scale uh, for the adhd for uh, autism you can use adir or ados 2 you can do further reading on um, help for uh, parents and children with autism nhs or uh, child autism uk or uh, national autistic society or scottish autism thank you please subscribe our channel and like our page on facebook.com slash pnmdpp